Hey guys. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so sorry. Right before I went live, I checked my messages and I just found out somebody in, in the family passed away. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me... Hey guys, welcome to this channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. On this channel, we try to cover all things reality, TV news, and gossip. Um, we're going to be talking about Mama June today because Mama June uploaded a video to her Instagram page discussing that she will be... Um, embarking on a new weight loss journey now if you follow mama june you know that she's already went on this weight loss journey before she started in 2015 when she had the gastric uh i think she had the gastric sleeve in 2015. so i'm going to go over some of the info because mama june mama june has decided she has started and i call it ozific but she is doing the generic brand for ozific she is doing um i always Yo, I want to call it something that is not what it is. So, why can't I pronounce this? It's glutude, semaglute, semaglutude, semaglutude. Why can't I pronounce it? I always want to call it something else that I know is not the word, that is an inappropriate word, so I don't need to say it. Semaglutude. Ain't that what it's called? Semaglutude? But I always want to call it something else. Okay, so we're going to get through this video. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I'm sorry. Um... And when my son finds this out, he's going to be very distraught about this. So I don't want to even say he's not going to be watching, but I got to I got to break the news to him as soon as he gets home. OK, so, um, yeah, Mama June, she started this weight loss surgery. Let's see. She is now 43. She actually took fans on her first weight loss journey. It started in 2015. She went from a size 18 to a size four. That is wild she underwent the ba the uh the bash the why can i talk today the gastric sleeve and that's where they remove part of your stomach this was 2015 2016 the show followed her the very first season of the new mama june so we had here comes honey boo boo that was canceled in 2015 and then when we came back it was mama june from not to hot and it literally just followed her journey so she initially wanted the surgery, but she was told by doctors, you have to lose weight. We can't do the surgery until we see that you are serious, that you want to lose weight yourself. So they told her you have to lose X amount of pounds before we will even consider the surgery. So Mama June hired a weight loss um, trainer. Hold on one second. Um... I'm so sorry, you guys. I did. I checked literally as it was like three seconds on my clock on the countdown. I saw this message. And um, they're asking me who is over the funeral home where all of our families buried. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is not an immediate family member. So everybody's like, go. Why aren't you leaving? This is somebody that's close to the family and is like a family member. So it's, I told him, I said, I'm going to call you in just a second. OK, so. She hired a weight loss um, trainer, a personal trainer, and we got to see her own Mama June from Not to Hot. He went in her home. He went through her refrigerator. He went through her freezer. He went through her pantry, and he got rid of all the snack cakes. He got rid of, he got rid of everything, and he was like, if you want to really go on this journey, you have to, your relationship with food has to change so mama june she shed some pounds i mean she whenever she came out this was her she was down to like a size four right and yes i was rooting for her during this because you know i feel like you are at risk of diabetes when you get to a certain especially with mama june she already struggles with her eyesight she struggles with a lot like it's not like she can just get out there and exercise and it be that easy on her it's going to be a lot for her right but um cecilia said oh so it can give you diabetes i see from what, what i know of it it is the medication that they treat diabetics with so i do want to say this as well you guys i am not a doctor i don't know anything about this medication other than the fact that i do have some people close to me that are on this medication and they're Weight loss journey has been dramatic, to say the least. I mean, I know one girl who literally lost like 14 pounds the first month or something. And it was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? So I know it is used 
for diabetes. I don't know if it can give you diabetes. I'm not sure. I don't know much of anything about it. So I don't want to give any wrong information other than the fact that they give it to diabetics. Now, um, I actually talked to one of the ladies here in town that administers it and prescribes it. And I was asking her about it just because I know so many people that's on it. And I was like, you know, what if they have a heart condition? What if this? What is that? What if that? She was like, you would actually be surprised. But if you have a heart condition, it actually can benefit you. Because if you have a heart condition, your heart is working overtime. So if you are overweight, that puts more strain on your heart than it's already under with whatever condition you have. So to lose the weight will help your heart. So it actually will help somebody that has a heart condition. She explained it in a little bit more, you know, medical terms, but that was basically what it was. But yeah, June, when she came out back in her final final reveal was in 2017. She showed up at a junger, at Jennifer and Sugar Bear's wedding, you know, strutting her stuff. Okay. So um, after that, though, she started gaining weight. And I mean, if you follow her on Instagram, you see that she's packed on some weight. So let's go to her Instagram really quickly. And I would have to say her weight gain is due to her relationship with food. A lot of people in her comment section. So Mama June did put up a video saying, hey, I'm going to start doing this medication, the weight loss medication that everybody is talking about. I'm going to start doing it. And a lot of comments are, you really need to get therapy for your relationship with food, though, because even if you, this is one thing that I have been told by several people. Even if you take this medication, the second you go off of it, you basically start gaining weight again. So you really have to stay on top of your health. You really have to work out. You really have to, or you have to take the shot every once in a while just to keep yourself from gaining that weight back. So if Mama June is getting on this medication and she loses a bunch of weight, she's going to have to do something to remain, to keep that weight off, right? So here's what I want to say, you know, here's my coming at you with the best freeze dried company out there. I have three, three. Y'all know guys that McDonald's has got like these new things and I love all their pies, the strawberry cream, the blueberry cream, like, so this is like the, hey guys, what is up? All I gotta say is Dorisha, girl, I don't know what you be doing in the pickle game, but back so a lot of Mama June's Instagram is her promoting a lot of junk food. And if she is going to take this serious, that's going to be a business avenue that she's going to have to get rid of. The snacks, the, the, the junk food, you're going to have to get rid of it because it's not going to work well for you if you really want to take this weight loss journey serious. So here are the video that she put up on her page. Let's go ahead and watch it. Here's the thing, though. About a year ago, Mama June was interviewed on the Daily. About a year ago, Mama June was interviewed by the Daily Mail, and they asked her, would you ever consider taking Ozempic? It's all the rave right now. So many stars has lost weight. And she said, no, absolutely not. She said, I would never take Ozempic because I look at it as like a drug that, you know, you're prescribed, but you really don't need to be taken. It's for diabetics. Like, I'm a recovering addict, so I would never take this medication. But a year later, she has changed her mind, which we have the right to do, you know, and maybe she's gotten to the point to where she's like, I'm really struggling, struggling with my weight, so I need to do something. But here she is with a video that she posted this morning where she talks about her decision to um, take this medication. Hey, y'all, what's up? I'm coming at y'all with a very serious note. Uh, because I know there's a lot of girlies and a lot of uh, males that struggle with this uh, when it comes to like weight loss, weight gain, diet, anything else. Okay. So today is April the 15th. I probably post this tomorrow. As y'all know, back in May of 2015, I had a gastric um, sleeve surgery. Um, I used to weigh 550 pounds. So on my own, I went from 550 pounds to 311 the day that I had my surgery. And in six weeks, I went from 311 all the way down to 195. And at that time, I had my skin removal on my, on my arms. I had my chin lipo. I had some liposuction on my back. I had a tummy tuck and I had a breast augmentation. Well, since then, you know, I kind of kept off the weight. I stayed at like 130 
140, 150. And to me, I looked super skinny um, and just wasn't used to that. Um, well, I have noticed over the last like year and a half that I've really put on weight. And a lot of y'all know that um, me and Justin and Eldridge was Anna's main caregivers. And I guess with the stress of everything going on, um, eating out, not eating right, just all kinds of stuff. I have packed on like um, about 120, 130 pounds. So I was actually going to go have the revision surgery when I went to go talk to them a year and a half ago, but that was not the case. My stomach was still the same size and the whole leading down to my stomach was the same size. So he said it would do no good to do the revision surgery. So I kept on. I tried to cut back on eating out. I tried to cut back on my eating. Nothing was actually helping. So I decided uh, I've been watching people with the Majoro, the semaglutide, the compounds and all of that, whether it be here on TikTok or it be over on Instagram or it be over on Facebook. So I decided that I wanted to take the route of going with semaglutide. Um, I decided to go to semaglutide um, a couple months ago. Um, through my main doctor, and I will tell you, go to your primary physician, make sure you're okay to take it, um, uh, make sure that it's not going to harm you with any of the medicines that you take or any of the previous health issues that you have going on. And after a month, I was cleared to take this semaglutide, but I'm going to tell you where I got it from. I got it from in Anna Sharon in South Florida. I'm going to tag her over on Instagram because I don't know if she's got a TikTok. So just go over to my Instagram, which is Mama June, and you'll find her. So I'm going to be taking 10 units of semaglutide for the next four weeks, and then you move up from there. She gives you dosing instructions. She helps you along the way. If you need to get on a Zoom call with her, she will. But the good thing about Miss uh, Dr. Anna is you can either do it in your comfort of your own home or you can go to her office whichever makes it comfortable for you the medicines will either be sent to your pharmacy or they will be sent directly to your front door which again is amazing and once a month you get on a phone call you get a refill and then you move up every month um these side effects that i was told because my primary physician her and her nurse uh, are both on some glutide they said that you may get nauseous feeling you may get diarrhea or you may get constipation. So if you want to get something for nausea, which would be Zofran or Finnegan, and my choice is Zofran because I'm allergic to Finnegan. Um, but I'm going to do this, guys. So I'm going to show y'all with my movie on tightened up what I look like. I'm not embarrassed. And baby, boys and girls, we are going to go along this journey together. If you're already on the journey, tell me what your um what your thoughts are, what your dis thoughts were, how much weight you may have lost, what your struggles have been. Because honestly, on top of this, I have thought about like going and going back to like the gym and like walking the treadmill and like doing things like that. Um, because last time I did this and I lost weight, I actually lost a lot of weight and I lost a lot of weight pretty damn fast. So this is how I look at it. Whether you're losing weight, if, even if you're losing inches, this is what it is. Don't be a scale hog. I will tell you all that form foremost, okay? I'm not going to be that way. Like I said, I'm either starting at 267 or 276. I don't really know which one. I can't remember from the other day when I went to the doctor. But do not be a scale hog. Honestly, I always say this when I was doing even weight loss before, is that you, you go by the way your clothes fit and everything. Because right now I'm an extra large to like a 1x okay so we're gonna see how the clothes fit i'm going to show y'all what i look like belly and all through my moo moo and every week i'm gonna come on here and i'm gonna give you my my bad good indifferent everything and we're going through this journey together if you're already on this journey um let's go give me some um of your four and one and like i said go over to instagram and follow dr anna like I said, you can either you can either uh, video chat her or you can go to her office in South Florida. And even Dr. Anna is on semaglutide and has lost like 40 pounds, she said. So anyway, guys, let me show you what it looked like. Today is the first injection. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, if I wasn't nervous or I wasn't like, oh, my God, is this really going to work? 
then you know i don't know what it is i've always said when i'm nervous about something then that may mean that it's going to turn out to be something amazing so here's what i look like justin's about to give me my first shot in my stomach and we're going to see how i feel and i'm going to update you in one week so every monday we're going to do a daily i mean a weekly check-in right here okay so trigger warning they are they are you're about to see justin administer the shot so if you you can't really see that well but you're going to kind of see it so if you don't want to see that you know yeah and i'm so sorry i had so much other stuff that i wanted to put in this video but my mind just kind of got like with the news that i just got so i am sorry okay i haven't got out of my movie yet like i said it's just monday this is what i look like my stomach has kind of like bulged out right here um you know my legs of all of my thighs i got big my arms i feel like are just got a little bit bigger than what they were um whenever i got those removed so guys i'm starting out at 267 pounds or 276 pounds let's see how much weight i can lose let me know in the comments how much weight you have lost taking semaglutide majaro or any of the compounds and like i said some of your dislikes and likes and some of your accomplishments but i love you guys and i will see y'all back in one week like i said go over to instagram show dr anna some love if you're looking to get on one of these she definitely can help you out i'm going to tag her over on my instagram love you guys and see y'all in one week okay so she's going to keep up with her journey week by week she's going to have justin administer her shot and she's going to tell us how much weight she's lost and listen like i said i'm no doctor but i hope it works out well for june because i i can't imagine that she's going to be in the best shape you know it seems like she struggles walking already with her eyesight and sometimes i feel like she don't have good balance at times and i don't know if that's due to her weight but i hope it works out well for her i hope it does whatever she needs it to do but it's going june is going to have to put in some work it's she's not just going to be able to have these shots and just drop the weight and that be it she's gonna have to change her relationship with food and like i said if you go to her instagram i mean i was looking at various um clips from the show right here this was the episode that aired just a few like two weeks or so ago where i mean she's ordering a slab of ribs five piece cornbread barbecue sauce baked beans i mean every time on the show that they are out and about and they're ordering justin does this i mean he's like oh junior eating so much you know and then this clip right here once again from this season this is when they were uh when anna was battling cancer and they were coming in to help her this was right before they moved from alabama to georgia they made one stop on their way back to georgia to move to georgia and they met with um justin's mom See, that's Justin right there when June is ordering three eggs over easy, home fries, gravy, toast, all of this, right? And Justin's once again doing this. And Justin's mom is laughing because they're laughing about how much food she eats. So, yeah, I hope it works out well for her. And I did have another video that I was going to show you guys where Mama June spoke to the Daily Mail last year. And she said, I will not ever get on Ozempic for this reason. I'm a recovering addict and I feel like it should not be prescribed to people unless they actually need it, unless it's for their diabetes or what it's actually made for. But it seems like she's had a change of heart, which she is entitled to do. So I hope it works out well for her, you guys. I wish I could stay on a little longer and give you guys more of what I was going to talk about, but I really have to go um, so I could go talk to my son. Like, share, subscribe. We are trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So please do your girl a favor and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys probably not i don't know maybe tonight whenever i get back because me and my son we're gonna have to jet out in just a little bit so i'll see you guys later bye guys